Welcome to another Q&A with Dr. B. Today's question is how to use the Monogramus font in Inkscape to create a monogram. So let's first open up Inkscape here. And what we're going to do is begin with our text tool. And then we'll find the Monogramus font. Now you have to have downloaded this font. And it can be downloaded from dafont.com. And then you can um, e install it on your computer. And then it will be available for you in the pull down box here when you're looking for a font. So we're going to choose Monogramus. There it is. And then we're going to set the font size to 144. That will help us to be able to see what we're doing and work on it better. When we're using this font, each letter creates an entire circle monogram by itself. So if I just type a B, for example, you see it types three B's in a circle. But we don't want that for our monogram because our initials are different. So for example, my initials are B, L, B. So we put the last name in the middle. So my monogram is going to be a small B, then a larger B in the center, and then an L on the other side. So that's how we're going to have to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by typing the three letters we want in our monogram. Now, if we use the shift key when we're doing our monogram, for example, BLB, notice it does the black circle with the white letters. And if we do the small letters, we get the black letters with the white circle. And that's what we want to use. So I typed my initials, BLB, and what I'm going to do is first convert this font, because it's a text right now, text object, and we're going to go to Path and change it object to Path. That creates a, 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 a drawing instead of the font. The next step we're going to do is we're going to ungroup them so that we have three individual things to work with. What I like to do is use this little um, icon here, the zoom to selection, and that will zoom in to the entire fonts that we're working on here. Then what I'm going to do is use this tool, the Edit Path by Node tool, and it will change them all so that we can see now the nodes that we're going to be editing. And what I'm going to do is using this tool, I'm going to select the letters that I do not want. So I selected that area, and I'm going to click Delete. Now I want my L to be on the right side, so I just want this L. So I'm going to select it, click Delete, and then I want the larger B to be in the center. So I'll select these two, and click Delete, select that, click Delete. Now I'm going to go back to the Select and Transform Objects button. Notice they're all selected, so I can't move them around if they're all selected. I can't move them individually around. So I'm going to click off, just clicking on the background. Then I'm going to click the first one. Now, holding the Control key down, I can drag it left and right, but I can't drag it up and down. So I'm going to drag this into my circle. Then I'm going to go to the large B and drag it into the center. And holding the control key down while I'm dragging, I'm going to keep getting it into place. I'm not real sure about the spacing here if it's distributed evenly. So what I'll do is select the entire thing by drawing a rectangle around it. Then I'm going to go to the Align and Distribute Objects icon. And that brings up this menu. And then under Distribute, I'm going to choose to distribute centers equidistantly, horizontally. And you might have noticed the B moved just a little bit. And that made these spacing in here equal. So now I'm going to draw a rectangle around the entire thing, make sure it's all selected, and group it together again. Group it together again. And that will take care of it. And now I have my monogram with my first initial, last initial, and middle initial from the monogram as font. Thank you for watching another episode of Q&A with Dr. B.